Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. I hope you're having fun um, with the holidays. Hope you're spending time with your family, with your friends, doing fun. Happy New Year's as well. Um, hopefully this year will be better than the last one. We had a lot of shit happen in the past year. Um, probably You can probably relate to that. If not, then have an even better 2K18. And uh, yeah, so today I, I've prepared something. Um, since Unity has added this thing called video players, when you go to game object and add a video, you can add a video player. And it basically displays a mp4 file or a video, a certain codec or format. Um, you have it um, on the website, on the API. It says all the form formats and um, the, code, the video codecs that you can have. And today... I wanted to show you how you can create a, um, basically this is how you can create a cutscene as well, but I will be preparing a separate video for that, but today I'll show you how you can trigger a video. So um, it's uh, pretty simple, I've written the script already, sorry if the intro is a bit too long, I just had to say a couple things. But let's get into the script right now. Basically, you have a public game object, which is the video player, and we have an integer, it's called time to stop, which is the time that we're gonna, after that time, the video is gonna stop playing. And void start, um, video player dot set active false. Uh, at the beginning, we set the video to be false because we do not want to play it. And when we make a on trigger enter function, we say it collider player and we check if the player if the game object's tag is tagged player of the object that's entering the trigger. So be sure to tag your player or your character or whatever you're using as the uh, thing that you control. Be sure to tag it player. And uh, we have a video and then we say that the video player dot set active true and we want to enable it. And after some after the time to stop, we destroy the video player. Pretty simple script, really easy to make, and I'll show you how you can make it. So basically drag a character player or first person controller, whatever you're using, and make sure to tag it player. If you do not have this player tag, you can add it. And um, after that, we're gonna wanna create a cube or whatever you want. Um, you can, so this is going to be our trigger. I'll just put it over here in front. I'll make it a little bit bigger so I don't miss it. I'll, um, Disable the mesh render so we cannot see this giant blob and I'll add the play video script to it And now I have to create the video player. So I'm going to create a video called video player Now doesn't matter where you put it and uh, For the video player um, We're gonna have to make the source the video clip. You can make it a URL if you want uh, to uh, Play a video from the internet, but let's keep it simple right now play on awake because the second it's it sets to being active we want the video to play wait for first frame you can do this you can do you don't need to do this depends on what you want loop we do not want it to loop because i'm going to get a copyright strike when you see the video and render mode uh camera far plane and camera near plane um basically um uh, render to, we do not use these three we basically use these two because we want it to be displayed on our camera so the camera far plane uh, that means um, if you have um, UI or anything that's on your screen, this video or it is going to be played on the camera, on the current camera, but in the last layer. So you're going to see the UI. It's going to overlap the video, basically. And camera near plane, that means that the video is going to be played first. So if you have any UI or anything, it's going to be behind the video. So it's going to be hidden. But we, we because I do not have any UI, I'm just going to say camera far plane. And now for the camera, I'm just going to set it to the first person camera. For the audio source, we're going to want to have the audio source. And yeah, that's basically it. And yeah, of course, we have to add the video here. And now because the video has audio in it, because we've imported the audio, you have to set, state the audio source that you want um, to use for the video is audio. Yeah. <laughs> Um, now, uh, I'll just set it for the first person controller because that's what we're using and you're basically done. And now let's go back to the trigger. I'll just rename it to trigger and I'll add the video player to the video player. Time to stop, for example, like, I don't know, like 25 seconds. Put the camera into the near plane because, um, we want to see it first and because if it's in the far plane, we're going to see it as like a skybox. All of these things are going to come first, so we do not want that. So now when we play the game... Yeah. Oh. 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 
All right, so uh, the time passed and it got destroyed. Now, as you might you might have seen that there was a little space for so you could see like the rest of the screen. If you want to fix that, you have to go to the video and basically like set the dimensions, the dimensions to the ones that you're using. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, thank you guys for watching the video. If you want to see what I'm doing and shit, you probably don't, but um. I was thinking about making it this more of a personal channel, not only related to Unity. For example, making some like story videos and shit. I know everybody does that, but maybe, maybe you guys want to hear what I have to say. If not, that's okay. I have an Instagram, so you can check that out. It's in the description. Feel free to follow me and DM me about shit. Just don't comment um, anything YouTube related because I'd not answer that. And yeah. Um, see you in the next video and yeah, bye.